understanding what hazards are on your farm, the risks that they pose, and how to best inform others of them, all starts with a map. Farmers, orchard managers, and many others in the agriculture industry are using spatial information to make better decisions and reduce potential risks to staff members, to contractors, and to visitors to the property. They can easily see right there any hazards to be aware of, and also record any incidents right there in the field. This information is then summarised and can be used to improve future health and safety practices. So jumping onto my mobile device, here I have a map of a pip fruit orchard located in sunny Tauranga. This map not only displays the location of assets on my orchard, but overlaying this information is the location of hazards which my staff have identified, such as the location of flammable objects, power lines, and other physical, chemical, and biological hazards. Maps can be an effective way of communicating hazards to people who may not be familiar with the area, and in this scenario we have a lot of contractors visiting the property to help with the operation of the orchard. I can easily and securely share this map with my contractors, allowing them to view the map live on their own devices, or they can even download the map for offline use. And as a user I can click on features, such as this potential hazard with an automated harvester, and reveal further attribute information and I can zoom around the map and explore areas in more detail too, not to mention the extensive measuring and markup tools available. As part of my auditing process, I may require the contractors to sign a form to acknowledge that they have viewed the map and are aware of the current hazards. By configuring a simple Survey123 form, I can get the contractors to confirm this information, along with other contextual information, such as the name of the farm they're visiting, the farm block, and also details about themselves. And this is finished off with a signature. And as you'll see in another example, these forms can be geolocated too, tying location to the captured information. Once I hit submit, this information will be captured in my system of record, keeping a log of when contractors have visited the property. While the contractor was on site, they also identified a new hazard where the shelter belt was encroaching upon the nearby power lines. This information could similarly be captured using a form-based approach. However, in this instance, we want to capture the hazard quickly and efficiently. Using IGES Quick Capture's big button interface, I can easily drop a point based on my location to symbolize the type of hazard, and then type a brief description. And again, this information streams back to base, allowing the orchard operators to take action to improve worker safety and mitigate accidents. And as you can see, I can also configure the same interface to capture locations of health and safety incidents too. Jumping now into the shoes of the orchard manager back at base, we can collate all the information our staff and contractors gathered out in the field into one single interface, a dashboard. Dashboards not only make for great operational tools, but also reporting tools, acting as a location-driven health and safety log through time and space. In the centre, we can see the same web map we were viewing on our mobile device, and surrounding it we have lists and indicators drawing on the layers in my map. On the left, we can see the latest hazards reported within the orchard, and I can click on the list to zoom to its location and filter the hazard log below. And I can also do the same for health and safety incidents too. And on the right, we have a log of when our contractors last checked in coming from our survey form. Now all of the methods I've shown you so far are examples of active health and safety reporting, where my staff and contractors are filling out forms or clicking buttons. However, we can also enable passive data capture through the means of tracking our worker locations. With the ArcGIS Tracker app, I can track the location of my workers during work hours and capture their last known location, and also their tracks throughout the day. And this can just be another layer included in my map, not only keeping my workers safe, but also proving the productivity of my staff and contractors throughout the day. Location-driven dashboards such as this are giving farm or orchard managers across New Zealand a powerful tool to better understand, report through and mitigate health and safety risks on their land. Farm visitors are more informed of known risks and importantly where they lie and field workers and contractors can easily report new hazards while out doing their BAU. Thanks for watching.